uh, on the other side, there were these whole bunch of other people uh, who left Shockley's company. Huh? They were very unhappy with him. So, uh, so they left and they started a company called Fairchild Semiconductor. And what was, they came up with their own version of integrated circuit, uh, Bob Noyce and the team. And I highlighted three people here. One is Gordon Moore, Eugene Kleiner, Kleiner, okay, so Kleiner is uh, Kleiner and Perkins, if you look up that name, and Bob Nice is one of the inventors of uh, um, integrated circuits. Unfortunately, he didn't get the Nobel Prize for, uh, because he died before the Nobel Prize was given, okay. So, um, and then uh, the Gene Horney, uh, he is like, I, to I told you he was one of the unsung heroes, right. And what was the problem with uh, Noise's solution? It was very expensive, extremely expensive, like 100x expensive, right? So, uh, so then uh, 50x expensive. So then uh, they were kind of, you know, figuring it out. Kya kare abhi? Itna expensive hai, kon mera transistor or my IC, right? And right then, when the Fairchild Semiconductor was founded, hmm, three days later, uh, can you imagine three days later, this happened. What happened was this. Sputnik, okay. So you you have to imagine that time frame, okay. Right now we think that U.S. is the superpower, right? At that time the level playing field was there, right? So Russia was also way ahead of its time. So they were doing a lot of space research, and their space research was ahead of United States at that time. So they sent the first satellite hmm, called Sputnik. So Sputnik is uh, S Sputnik. S is a fellow, somebody together. Sputnik is the traveler. So Sputnik is a fellow traveler, that's where the name comes from, a backup of Sputnik, which is there in one of the uh, Russian museums. Just to show you, kind of, because once you see the picture, you kind of get, uh, it'll be, hopefully it'll be exciting, right? And then um, this was launched by, uh, you know, uh, Soviet Union. And what's interesting about this is that the thing was rotating around the earth. Huh? And every day people in the US were seeing Sputnik, Sputnik. Uh, it's a reminder, constant reminder of how far behind you are. So, so you can imagine United States people every day, the everyday newspaper of Sputnik. And this is from Russia. And then there was a call like, oh, the Russian satellite is watching us, right? How can you do this, right? I mean, imagine uh, people from Russia mounting camera inside your house, right? Those kind of imaginations were going on. So people were very unhappy. So right there was the motivation. So now we got to do better than Sputnik. Unfortunately, four years later, they put the first person in space also. I mean, unfortunately, I shouldn't say because, you know, it's the whole world, right? I can't take sides. So, Yuri Gagarin was the first person in space four years later. And United States was still in crisis. In a sense, ki, we got to do something better, better than the Russia. Hmm? So, uh, uh, J.F. Kennedy, uh, President of uh, United States, so he funded space program and he made lots of announcements. Uh, this was around the time I was born. So, I didn't hear any of this, but uh, they say, okay. So, he wanted to kind of put a crash course on the space and um, he wanted to put man on the moon. Okay, we want to do this. You probably have heard, right, uh, that particular famous thing. So, this is what he wanted to do. Now, all this stuff was motivation for integrated circuits. Because in space, imagine in space, what matters is the size, the power dissipation, Space, amount of space you occupy, because all that stuff is at a premium. And money is important? No, absolutely not. So this cost of the IC is not important anymore, right? So now, uh, suddenly what happened was, uh, both the companies, we have our two hero companies, right? One is Texas Instruments, the second one is Fairchild Semiconductor, okay? So both of them, uh, Jack Kilby had his own uh, version of IC, and then, um, um, Noise and company, uh, Fairchild, they had their own IC. Okay, both of them, of course, uh, the TI one was uh, cheaper because there they are putting these different, different transistors, they're sticking it on a substrate and then they're making wires, things like that. So that process had a problem as such, right? And in the other case, they were kind of making a planar process and things like that. Um, so uh, basically, uh, as I said, you know, this guidance system for satellite uh, was important and for TI, at that time, um, it was actually, um, it was a missile program that United States Navy, uh, Navy had. Hmm? So that was driving the TI solution. 
Okay, so PI wanted to be uh, the guidance computer which is there on the uh, on the missile. They wanted to use integrated circuits for that. So both the companies were very satisfied because both of them got orders, right? And this was now then suddenly from fifty dollars there are a few hundred million, what not hundred million, five hundred thousand. Um, like half a million dollar type of revenues they were getting from the uh, integrated circuits. So once you get money, then you get better, better, better. You put in more people and you know fix things around and here and there. Hmm? So the next part of the movie was, as I said, was uh, this particular. Um, it's a missile. Hmm? What was the purpose of the missile? To kill people. Bus. Huh? United States say missile chodenge, nuclear warhead leke Russia pe dalenge. I mean, I'm exaggerating all these things, but you can imagine this, right? The mindset at that point, because uh, they wanted to uh, have these missiles ready just in case, just in case, just in case we get in trouble, we could do this. So it was maybe it's just a deterrent. So this particular missile that I'm showing you is called Minuteman 2. You no know, reason is called Minuteman. What does minute signify? Very quick. Hmm? So if you have a war, uh, there were these uh, brand of people who were ready for war at an instant, within a minute. So they would just go for a while. So similarly, they were they wanted to do these missiles. The problem with missiles was, if you want to keep missile, then you had to put liquid fuel fuel in it. So filling करने के लिए time लगता था. So then they came up with missile which is solid fuel, and that was a big revolution in missile business. Then now I can keep whole bunch of missiles ready. जब भी चाहिए लेके जाऊँ करके. So that's why it's called Minuteman. Minuteman missile, but this is Minuteman two. Minuteman one was uh, so what you see on the right side. Is actually the whole bunch of computing electronics, which is developed by TI Texas Instruments. So, um, so this particular uh, missile, and you know uh, that that transformed the Texas Instruments business. Okay, are you with me so far? Hmm? So this is what happened, and this is what kind of drove the uh, two things which drove. You should remember one is the space program. Hmm? They wanted to do better than uh, you know USSR at that time, and the second one was. This missile business. So two separate companies were really marching ahead, and as a result of which, there was a lot of research going on. And our uh, the actors of the movie will kind of slowly come into play as we go along through the story. The last piece I wanted to show you, which is kind of a, okay, this is the one minute one one computer. I mean, it is a huge bulky computer, and then they uh, we were able to make it smaller hmm, later on. Now the next one is uh, something. Um, It's a interesting innovation, um, which kind of changed everything around. So the uh, innovation is uh, as follows: uh, on the right side you see a microscope, correct? Hmm? So uh, on the in the microscope you put something tiny and you can see it from the top. So Lanthrop and Nall, they were I think they were at MIT if I remember correctly. They came up with this idea: why don't I flip it around? Okay. So why don't I put a big picture on the top? And the microscope will make it small, because we wanted to make circuits which are smaller, 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 right? That was one of the major deterrents. So uh, they came up with this idea, and this revolutionized everything. Hmm? So what's going on is uh, I'm, I'm kind of giving you a crude representation, but you understand, right? So they just it's called flipped inverted microscope. That's what they did, and. Uh, So you can take a big pattern. Uh, here I'm just kind of visually showing you. There is a CMOS inverter layout on the top, right? And then on the bottom you see a small CMOS inverter. So I can literally print circuits. Hmm? So I can use something called Kodak used to make this called something called photoresist. So there are two types of photoresist. One of them, if you shine a light on it, it will harden, and if, uh, other one is if you shine the light, it will soften. Okay. So that way you can uh, remove. Is a positive photoresist and negative photoresist. So this is what is used to do some kind of patterning. This is used for patterning. And what's the purpose again? To take one substrate, piece of substrate, and then we would like to create whole bunch of devices on that substrate. All right. So this is kind of the mass technology uh, at that time. And here is uh, something. That's not me. Um, um, I just took the picture because I used to do this. I I actually have done all these things um, when I was undergrad here. So what you do is you take a piece of ruby lith, red ruby lith, ru red color because it doesn't impact your uh, the resist is not impacted by red color. So and then you cut out. So you literally draw the pieces of transistors uh, layout and then you cut pieces. 
Uh, and then so you create, oh, this is my gate region, this is my source region, trade region, and you do all this yes. stuff. So people were employed to do this, they are draftsmen. Have you heard the word draftsman? So they, they were called draftsmen. So they would be doing these mask designs. Of course, so now we, you are going to do all this, hmm? but on the computer. Okay, all this stuff, you're going to do it on the computer. So you get, uh, you can see how fast it is. Otherwise here, if you make one mistake, you have to do the whole thing on here. Right, and so it limits the number of uh, transistors you can put. All right, we'll stop right here. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Friday.